Hello, it's Aaron here again from Aaron's Tech Corner and doing some late night after midnight here car audio installation on my Model 3. Uh, last time I kind of gave a quick brief overview of what I was doing. This time I'm going to kind of dive into actually what I'm doing right at this moment, which is wiring. Um, so <laughs> basically what we've done here is taken off all of the uh, passenger side panel pieces here and... Uh, ran some wire from front to the uh, trunk here and I need quite a bit of wiring to to do all the things we need to do because what we need to have is I need to have outputs from the factory deck I basically need to have the um, front mids which are up here in the dash and then I need to have these door woofers and I also need the uh, the rear door speakers um, outputted as well and basically what that gives me is I, I, six, basically, yeah, um, yeah, so I guess that's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six, six, uh, basically inputs I have to bring into the DSP, and that way I can reconstruct the uh, full front and rear audio signals, because the factory stereo here is only sending, like, certain frequency ranges to these door woofers, like, from all the way bottom up to... I think around 350 hertz or so and then the mids seem to be carrying the rest of 350 all the way up so they're really more of a full range um speaker and then the rear doors are just so if i can have rear fill so i, I need to have um quite a bit of wires to do that so uh, what i'm doing done is use this this uh speed wire um this black one's actually a different brand and uh it's just because basically i went to two different car audio shops to get things these guys carry DB Link. These guys carried Speedwire uh, by Stinger. They're basically the same kind of thing. I mean, they basically all have nine conductors, which is designed for a typical, you know, front and rear speaker install, left, right. So eight, and then there's a, a you know a ninth conductor which is blue, which is basically your amp turn on lead. I'm not using that in any of these bundles, um, so that's just kind of extra. But I, I like the idea that these they're really flexible. They're uh, really high quality is basically having double insulation on everything and it's easy to run you don't have to you know, tug all sorts of wires i did label each bundle like you know d a b c d i have four wiring harnesses let's see if i can actually yeah there's one right there um so i have a which is my inputs from my dsp or to my dsp and or or the outputs from the, the factory computer and then B is also four more wires, which is just, uh, you know, the, the leftover of what I need. One of these bundles isn't enough because, you, like I said, you need, um, you know, the mids, the door woofers, and the rears. So you actually need uh, 8, 19, 11, 12 wires, six speakers, so 12 wires. So that's what you get with these. So these carry, I've labeled these A and B, and they carry all the signal back. And then C and D are the outputs from the amplifier, the DSP, which will go into the, the harness I'm, I'm going to use. And that will actually bring the outputs to the speakers. So for that, I needed more. I've got what, 2 times 9, so 18. Um, I actually need 16 because I basically need to have the, the woofers, the tweeters, the mids, and then the door speakers. So yeah, that's what I've gotten going on. So what I've done is run, these are just gonna stack nicely on top of each other sitting right here. The trim will still fit. The other ones I kind of tucked down underneath into this tunnel. Um, just cause I didn't want to stack too many things up right here. But the tunnel is, it's kind of hard to get in and out of. Uh, there's not enough room to tuck all of them through that tunnel just because there's a huge wiring harness stuck way back in here. So you can see I've got those two wires in there. And then they all go beneath this harness here, which is, this is a, a body harness. Um, this connector right here is actually a connector we're going to use um, from the uh, Tesla offer harness. It plugs in here. What they've actually done is this conductor or this connector right here actually must cross into the car and goes over to the other side because it actually feeds the left door tweeter and it can feed those those eight polar speakers up there too which i'm not using remember we said we weren't going to do that i'm also not going to use the center channel so kind of following along here i'm going to get back out of the car look here you can see yeah i'm just kind of tucking this all here and you can see that big old 
zero or two gauge power wire. That is actually not mine. That is the factory power wire that runs the 12 volt DC converter under the seat all the way up to the factory 12 volt battery under there, the, the accessory battery. Um, this is kind of a, a remnant of my testing, but this is a, you know, a, a smaller fuse and uh, power connector, which I'm going to replace with a four gauge and then a 150 amp fuse. But yeah, kind of tucked everything nicely underneath that. And you're going to run this up the side here and up on into the trunk. And that's where the amp rack is going to live, right under here, remember? So that'll be the next step is, you know, uh, getting that stuff hooked up. But what I've got going on for that, I can find all my stuff here. Like I said, my garage is messy. Um, I have a very hacked up Tesla offer harness. So if you've seen one of these, it actually normally has this connector with all these things connected. It's got another pigtail that goes out to a tweeter on this side, and then a pigtail that kind of comes all the way down here to this harness. And then that feeds, um, you know, the other side tweeter, which that's all that's actually coming out of this now. I've just cut all like the, the pillar speaker wires and the other wires off, and I'm only going to need that left tweeter on that other side. So that's, that's going to run up to this harness. And then the other thing it had was um, a harness to activate the rear trunk speakers, which I don't have those in the car, so there's no reason to even have it. I'm not going to put them in, so no point. And what we've got going on here is I've gone through and basically labeled everything in and out. So these, this is the two speakers and this is the, uh, this is basically the, from the computer and, you know, right woofer or right front woofer, left front woofer, plus and minus. So I've got it all nicely labeled so I can basically, uh, strip these and solder these to these. And of course, one of the important steps to doing that is knowing what is going where. These are standard, you know, car audio colors, so kind of decided to go use those. Uh, we have, basically I made a chart that shows me everything here, but you can see that I'm mapping out the colors to each thing and I, I'm gonna keep this chart around and probably, you know, maybe even laminate on this and, and, and tuck it somewhere underneath the amp board or something. That way I know what's where if I ever have to work on anything, but this should make it super easy. So yeah, that's that. I guess my next step is I'll get these things stripped and soldered and then uh, go from there and do some power wiring. Thanks for watching.